Hey guys, we're back again. I'm Sean Greenway with Brandlift Marketing. I'm actually here today in place of Tamara Wade. This is the Tamara Wade podcast show. I want to thank uh, Mr. Derek Griffin for being back with me again on another show. Last time we met, I believe we talked about builders. Today I want to get a little bit deeper of that by going into the sales side of it. Okay. I know you guys, you know, are always looking for new builders and, and, and they're actually coming to you guys because you're actively out there. Um, so talk about a little bit about the sales part of it. So some of the ones that are looking and, and watching this or listening, whatever, how you're consuming this about uh, the sales side of it. Mm -hmm. What, as far as a team, I know you said seven days a week yeah. that you guys offer. Mm -hmm. So tell me a little bit more about the sales of it. Well, sales is, I guess, what I'm most passionate about is because I started out in sales, did it for eight years and loved it, um, and then stepped into management roles. But um, the sales side of it is a lot of fun. Mm -hmm. That's uh, I'll get out on site with our folks and just I'll just start talking about sales. We're talking about role playing. We're talking about just you know, writing contracts, the excitement yeah. of working with people. And it's just all of a sudden just like I yeah. get so pumped when I leave a sales office. Yeah. Right. And you get them pumped, too. Yeah. 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 It's 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 a lot of fun. But yeah. So the sales side is something that's very critical. Obviously, the selling houses, you got to sell them and you have to have to write have to have the right people in the right places. Mm -hmm. um, so. There's a lot that goes into it. Um, I would say as uh, in my role, um, you know, when you look at the sales side of it, it, it's very critical. If you make some wrong mistakes, it, it can delay sales for a builder and you don't want to do that. Right. Yeah. And I yeah. think a lot of people um, in the industry, sometimes they don't get it right. And, and there's five P's to, to selling homes. You know, there's price um, promotion, which is marketing. Mm -hmm. Um, uh, what's the price promotion, people, people, people is a mm -hmm. critical piece. And so when you hit the people piece, you know, you got to make sure you get that right. Cause everything else that's in place, uh, your product, your placement, if, if you get those wrong, then, mm -hmm. you know, everything's wrong. Yep. So, but all pieces of the P's are, are critical, but I think the sales piece is very critical. And one of the things that we do really well here is um, we, we recruit and hire some good folks. Um, and a lot of times we're hiring people outside of the industry. Yeah. Um, and the reason we do that is because, yeah, we could get some, some, you know, real estate agents that have been resell agents for a while, but they've created habits or their own True. sales yeah. technique and we like to start fresh sometimes yeah. and and we take the time to train and we actually do an eight-week boot camp wow. with people yeah and so every wednesday they come in and we do about a six-hour training course mm -hmm. that week and everyone's required to come if yeah. they're new new if you've been a seasoned agent or you're fresh off the street we're gonna we're gonna put you through it and you're going to get a chance to learn how the process works. And so um, that's one of the things that I, I love is, is, is the training aspect yeah. and getting out in the communities. On the, on the boot camp side, it's also, too, I guess if they're, like you said, if their agents have been in it for a couple of years, mm -hmm. boot camp is, is a part of not only learning them learning something, but for them to unlearn maybe some bad habits. Yeah, yeah. Because, uh, and I see that, too, in, either in other industries. Uh, it is better to have that outside, mm -hmm. fresh that they don't have any preconceived thoughts or notions of mm -hmm. like, oh, I know a better way because you guys have obviously got mm -hmm. it down right. packed because if builders are coming to you guys, mm -hmm. then something's going right. Yeah. Because when I was a lender, um, I saw some of the bigger ones, you know, some of the companies that do have it right, but then there's a point I think to where they get so big, some of them, mm -hmm. that then they lose quality, mm -hmm. whether it be in the customer service, marketing side, mm -hmm definitely sometimes in the homes. Mm -hmm. So by you guys kind of handling that and then taking your people through boot camp, because I know you're hiring now, the um, somebody that's brand new off the streets, they come mm -hmm. in and go through your eight-week boot camp, mm -hmm. you're putting them out there ready, to, ready mm -hmm. to go. You mm -hmm. don't just take them and stick them out in subdivisions like, oh, it should be fine. You're right. So what are the processes you take through? Well, not to give it all away, but mm -hmm. what, what are some of the major things that you cover in the boot camp that yeah. helps them. I mean, just overall industry vernacular, you know, yeah. what to say and what not to say and, and understanding what is what, like an Eve, what's a soffit? What's a, you know, a two by four. Yeah. I mean, you'd yeah. be surprised. Some people yeah. don't know what just a two by four is, things, right? Yeah. So, um, 
just we do, we do actually do an on-site walk with a builder where we do that through an nice. entire house yeah. and, and give them that knowledge so they're armed with that. But that's just one week. The other seven weeks are going through an entire process, right? So the biggest thing is um, in sales, mm-hmm. and we're doing sales training as well, is the rapport piece, right? Not a lot of time is spent on that. And a lot of agents will just go straight to the product and they'll forget the yeah. upfront stuff that you have to do uh, to gain, gain the people's trust. Mm-hmm. Um, and I've always said, you know, sometimes people will buy their second favorite home from their sa- first favorite salesperson. And that's because, um, you know, that, that person that spent that time, you, you could have two very comparable products, two yeah. homes, same features, same options. But sometimes that salesperson that really made that connection and built that trust, they'll go back to that person and they'll say, hey, we've looked, we've, we've scanned, we've been on Zillow, we've been on Trulia, we, yeah. we know what we're looking for. But you know what? At the end of the day, you've, you spent a lot of time with us, Derek, and, you know, we just feel yeah. that we want to go ahead and move forward with you. And it's like, that's, okay. that's, that's I, in my big, mind, I'm yeah. like, oh, man, I, you know, I spent that time, that quality time mm-hmm. getting to know them, yeah. building that trust and rapport. I mean, I can, a lot of times agents will feature dump. They'll just, yeah. they'll just take you in, say, fill out the registration card. How many bedrooms do you need? They go straight to the model home and they start, you know, finding needs. Just a number. They're doing some yeah. good stuff, but they're, f- they're forgetting some vital components. Yeah. And that, only, that not only helps in the beginning, especially, but in the end, like being a lender coming out of that world from years ago is that with the builder side, because I was actually, I was a preferred lender on mm-hmm. some of the communities. I won't mention them that there's so many variables there. What if the weather, okay. It gets behind on building. Mm-hmm. Uh, what if the actual person's getting along? What if they change jobs? There's mm-hmm. so many things that could goof up. Mm-hmm. So you guys being the middle man, so to speak, mm-hmm. the agent, you're there to not only coordinate with the builder. Okay. We missed two weeks because of the snowstorm or the hurricane. Mm-hmm. Wh- wh- where are we at? Mm-hmm. And then you're conveying that to the uh, the buyer over here. And, of course, that buyer changes jobs without telling anybody or <laughs> buys a new car. And then oh, you got a whole not. other problem, yeah. right? And that's upfront work that agents uh, we're supposed to do. You know, we're just one of the – we do those reminders right at the end. We sign the contract and we're like, look, don't go out and buy that nice car. Wait until you close. <laughs> and we kind of just, you know – now that you got the house, you don't need the car just yeah. yet. You can yeah. get it after you close. But, you know, just little reminders like, and, you know, once you've built trust with them and you've gotten them feeling comfortable with yeah. you, you can kind of joke with them and, you know. Yeah. But th- those things stick with them and they remember it. Um, and communication is key, like to your point about yeah. the construction delays or whatever. Yes. It's, it's um, real, right, sometimes. Yeah. It's oh, very real. Um, daily uh, real. So, um, yeah, so if you can get um, – with them and make sure that you communicate well, that's, that's a big piece of it. Yeah. Having that, um, rapport in the beginning, um, cause this is the, for a lot of people, this is the biggest purchase of their life. Oh yeah. And it's scary enough to think that they're going to go buy a, um, you know, a resale property Mm -hmm. that they could be in and, you know, 30 days or less, but to go and pick out something that's going to be built that they're like, Oh my goodness, Mm -hmm. you know, it's a brand new home, you know, they're married, they got kids or not. Um, that is scary then to set, like, I don't know which, all, all the builders you work with, but some of these custom homes are six months out, right? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Now, some of the ones I worked with where they were uh, 60 to 90 day, but I know mm-hmm. some of six months or more. So to put your name on a contract mm-hmm. oh, that scary. you're not going to get in that house for six right. to nine months. And then the, and think about this during the downturn, the worst recession of the history um, during 2008, 2009, I was in an active adult community and they all had homes to sell. So imagine signing on a dotted line to build a home. They haven't sold it. They're taking a, a step of faith. You know, that's where <laughs> you're getting their signature. They didn't know they were coming out to buy that day, but that for whatever reason, you got them to that point because you built that trust. Yeah. And, um, so that goes a long way. It's a very scary process, but gosh, to be a part of someone's dream, Mm -hmm. that's what does it for a lot of us where to be a part of their lives and to see them have uh, the dream of home ownership with a, you know, first time home buyer. Gosh, I mean, how rewarding is that? And and keeps you going. Yeah. And that's why we 
that's what why we do what we do. Yeah, and me and uh, Tamara had uh, covered that on another episode. Is that you know you get you it's important that mm -hmm. you like what you do. You don't have some mm -hmm. particularly love it in some industries, but that passion helps you on bad days. Oh yeah, because we all have bad oh, yeah. days. Yeah, but even on the bad days, if if your goals are big enough, that's what mm -hmm. I teach. If your goals are big enough and you're passionate about what you do, it'll get you through those crappy days. You yeah. know, to, to at least get home and then just <laughs> crash, that's, right? That's right, so, yeah. Man, thanks for spending yeah. some more time with me. Yeah. Uh, we'll try to get you on another episode. So we covered sales today. We've covered builders before. Maybe we'll get you on another episode and we'll cover more in depth about any of the builders that may be interested in talking to you guys. Okay. Um, that being said, if, if we have anybody looking, what is the best way to get in touch with you if anyone has any questions about how to start that uh, that builder process? If, if sure. I mean, best way to reach out by text or phone. I mean, I like to pick up the phone and talk to people. So email's okay. I mean, I can give you my email address, but honestly, call me at 706 255 4441 and uh, text me, call me, and uh, we'll, we'll set up a lunch or something, yeah. and we'll get together. Yeah. And, and what's cool and is y'all got a restaurant right here in your <laughs> building, <laughs> yeah. so that's, that works out perfectly, yeah. right? So, mm -hmm. all right, guys, thanks for joining us again. This is the Tamara Wade Show. I'm Sean Greenway, Derek Griffin here. Uh, join us next time on another podcast. Until then, have a good day. <laughs>